jawline that should have its own zip code. It's that big on Hongman Choi. I mean, it was a literal uppercut, right? The guy looks up and then throws a punch. That's that's the height difference between Ray Seffo and Hongman Choi. Seffo wants to attack the liver section that Banahari absolutely chopped up in Seoul on September 27, then go to the head, and he does that. Beautiful shot to the right rib gauge of Choi. Seffo just took a, a punch from him. If there is going to be one thing that Sefo really has to watch, it's the rising knees and a little bit of showboating here from Sugar Ray. You're going to love the show, don't you, Kimbo? Oh, man, I'm enjoying myself. Ray looks like he's, he, uh, he's kind of confident in this. Oh, spinning back fist caught him on the jaw. How the hell did he land a spinning back fist on the jaw? Oh, no, but Choi is not moving, and Ray hits hard, so... I don't know. Choi not moving. I've seen Glacius move faster than Hotman Choi. And Ray has landed some power salvos so far here in the first round. Ray is looking good. Ray is looking sharp. Look at him. I mean, he's, he's, he's doing it all. He's going up. He's going down. He's going to the body. He's throwing leg kicks. Ray definitely prepared for this fight. As I said, he's been training out of Extreme Couture in Las Vegas with Randy Couture in preparation for this one. Hotman Choi. Trying to throw the rising knee and pull the head down with the Muay Thai clinch. And again, Sugar Ray turning it on, just taunting the big man. He hooks it to the head, outside Viking. Ray Sefo throwing the heavy artillery inside the first two minutes. Yeah, Ray Sefo is you know, definitely an entertaining fighter. Against Badahari, that seemed to backfire. Oh, him again. Sefo going for the good night, Irene. The spinning back fits to the orbital bone of Choi. The size of the head of Pong Man Choi. Easter Island just called Mike. The statues want their head back. <laughs> Chad from Sefo wants to get on the inside again to Sugar Ray. Yeah, definitely one-sided action so far. Uh, you know, all coming from Ray. Look at that. Um, Body shot to the liver of Hong Man Choi. But Choi doesn't seem to be moved. I'm looking at Choi. He's actually in great shape. Oh, he's phenomenal. For his size, this guy has, you know, almost a six-pack. He's got like a three-and-a-half pack. <laughs> but, you know, look at his arms. And his, yeah, he's not fat. This this is like muscle, bone, and, and something else, whatever, in the head, you know. Or left hook again from Sefo. He's had more hooks than a tackle box. Throws an overhand right. Choi with the knee. Sefo's got to get out of there. And he calls on Hungman Choi. Says he goes over to that big man. End of the first round. What a cracker from Sugar Ray. I mean, it was all, you know, it's, it's all uh, be Ray Charles not to give this round to Ray Seppo. Uh, Kimbo, first time in Japan for you, first time at a K1 event. Uh, and ironically, we're first time in the U.S. on TV right now, live on HDNet. Uh, you know, give give the viewers at home your impressions. What do you see here? The people, the energy, the, the, the overall? The arena is packed. I mean, we're talking about over 20,000 people here. Um, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's almost like a Super Bowl. <laughs> exactly. Well, ironically, this is the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, Bowl. Yeah, is. Yeah, the World yeah. Grand Prix Finals. So every this seat is. Is cut, every seat has a has a has a has a button. And even the nosebleeds. Look, the nosebleeds are full. Yeah, that's amazing. And at the moment, Ray Sefo is owning Hongman Joy. Sefo edges forward, looking for the chance to once again get on the inside. Throws the high left round kick. Don't forget, folks, when he started his career as a light heavyweight and a cruiserweight, he was known as Sugarfoot Ray Sefo because he didn't knock people out with his hands back then. He was knocking them all out with his head kicks. Choi jabs. Enormous size, Choi, but we often don't give him credit for being a very good counter fighter, as he's showing here against Sefo. You know, I think Sefo is... He, he's, you know, he's doing good, but he needs to stop letting him hit him. I mean, this is this guy has some power behind his punches and his kicks. Well, if Choi tags right with one of those right hands, Ray will starve to death rolling. At the moment, though, Sefo doing a good game of keeping just out of range. No, but to Ray's credit, he did tag him, and Ray's taking him well. But, you know, do you really want to give the guy a target? I mean, you know, that's... Muay Thai clinch again by Choi. Ray jukes it out, overhand right. One minute 14 left here in the second round of three. Reserve fight number one, Sugar Ray ahead unofficially on the judges' scorecards. Or officially, I should say, unofficially on our scorecards. So in the Sugar Ray shuffle. He's winning this fight, officially, unofficially, whatever way you want. Oh, spinning back fist! What a bold move it is 
You're turning blindside, split second to Hong Man Choi, and you are landing to the jawline that sits at about 6'11", the jawline. The total height is 7'2", of Choi. Outside Daiki for the lead lead from Sefo. Just tenderizing that quadricep area. Sefo smiling, as always. Slips on the inside of the jab. Choi jabs again. Sefo bobbing and weaving, just staying out of range. Hooks him outside Daiki. Good one-two combination scores for Sugar Ray. 15 seconds on the clock here in the second round once again all one-way traffic and the traffic points to Vegas via New Zealand <laughs> step across outside leg kick from Sefo Choi trying to barrel him against the rope Sefo goes to the butt oh! the round. one more round to go Kimbo Slice you still have Ray Sefo leading up the two Ray is so down just because he was you know playing around and letting Choi hit him at the moment, a very intelligent fight from Sefo, doing everything correct as he circles off to his right. Choi fires a lazy front kick, should be sitting behind the jab, turning back kick to the midsection. Almost got his heel stuck in Choi's belly button. Choi pouring with that overhand right. An ugly, ugly punch, and Sefo saw it coming from a mile away. Again, Sefo too evasive, too quick. Good to see Choi going on the offensive a little here in the third round. He knows Kimbo is going to try and knock down Ray. Mm -hmm. Well, I see, I see Ray being a lot more aggressive than he was the first two rounds. At the same time, Choi is actually turning the heat up as well. Ray just smiles as Choi gives him a kick up the clacker. Outside guy kick from Sefo. Shot to the back of the head. Referee should have stepped in and warned Hongman Choi on that occasion. Sefo backtracks, looking to line up the lead kicks once more. Goes to the inside. Muay Thai clinch by Choi. Good right hand by Choi. Nice flurry from the Korean. And Ray counters with an overhand right, looking for the orbital bone. Tracks away to the outside lead fight. Choi is super active in his fight. Um, you know, he took a lot of criticism from K1 fans during his fight against Badahari uh, because he was just very inactive. And the guy threw like, two punches in the whole fight. Uh, you know, the rest of the time was on the receiving end of Badahari's kicks and punches. Uh, but, you know, granted, that was his first fight after the surgery. So, you know, a little ring rust. Uh, here you see Hong Man Choi basically back in his, you know, in his rhythm. You know, he coming forward, he tries the knees and the punches. And again, beautiful footwork in the blue corner to get out of dodge from Sefo and bring the fight back to center and tracks away to the lead quadricep area of Hong Man Choi. Overhand right from Sefo, looking for the big good night, Irene. And the Samoan. Under a minute remaining. Sefo again escapes to center ring. Referee just cautioning Sefo. Good outside thigh kick. Ducks underneath the left hand. Succulent stuff here from Sefo. I think those leg kicks are really starting to wear on Choi. Oh, they definitely are. Unfortunately, there's only 30 seconds left, so they're not going to wear enough. But yes, for sure. Those are devastating, devastating leg kicks coming from Ray Sefo. Jab from Sefo goes to the body of Choi. Under half a minute remains. Choi has to knock down Sefo. To try and steal a big overhand right. And again, Sefo turning it on. But and Choi comes forward to his credit. I was just going to say, the Choi's credit, I mean, I don't think people realize the power in Ray Sefo's <laughs> punches. That landed flush on his jaw, and Choi just chucked it off and kept moving forward. That's you were, ridiculous. You were talking about a man who, in his fourth K1 oh! fight, knocked out Jerome LeBanner and broke LeBanner's jaw in four places in Sugar Ray Sefo. End of the third round, and Kimbo Slice, anyway you slice the pie on this one, you've got to figure Ray's got this in the bag. Well, after I slice the pie and I take my cut, I give the rest of the pie to Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, brother. I like the way, Mikey, no argument from us. Ray Sheffo takes this one. None, none. Well-deserved victory. Ray Sheffo all the way via brutal whatever he wanted to do. Um, and I know, Mike, that... Ray trained like an absolute demon with Randy Couture and all the guys at Couture Extreme in Las Vegas. It showed here tonight. He had a personal trainer. He had a dietitian. He lost the weight. He looked fast. He looked evasive. And again, he was putting together the power combinations that we haven't seen from him in a long time. Well, the, the one thing, you know, Ray Sefo is a... Is a 30-27, Ray. 30-28 to Ray. And our favourite judge, the final judge, 30-28 to Ray Sefo. You know, Mr.